Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking Turner Syndrome. So today I wanted to broach a subject I have talked about before but I'm, I'm not sure how fully I maybe covered it in the sense that I kind of just talked about the science of it. So I got a question about the difference between mosaics, Turner syndrome, and classic Turner syndrome. The basic generic answer to that is classic is where the whole second X chromosome is missing and mosaic is where the second X chromosome is damaged. So there's bits and pieces like bitten off of it and missing. It's damaged, it's not missing. And classic is completely missing. It's not there anymore. And what that boils down to is those, that chromosomal level affects development in very different ways. Classic and mosaic, while both are a spectrum, they're a spectrum in a lot of different ways. Classic, there's some guaranteed things that are going to happen. Infertility is almost a non-question in classic. There's no doctor that is going to put any resources into trying to get a girl with classic Turner syndrome pregnant through tr traditional means. There's no doctor that's going to encourage her to try. There's no doctor that's going to encourage just plain IVF without egg donation. Most are not going to give very much hope, which is a sad reality because what they're basing that off of is very, very true. For me, while I have hopes in almost every way as far as being able to carry a pregnancy to term and give birth, I have no hope when it comes to using my own eggs and us naturally, spontaneously conceiving. It's not impossible. And I don't think any doctor is gonna actually say the word impossible, but they will tell you it's nowhere near likely. There's not enough of a chance to make it worth putting effort towards that happening. And with Mosaic, it's a different story. There's not as much affected developmentally. Um, there's much more chance for spontaneously or for getting pregnant on your own with Mosaic than there is Classic. Much, much more of a chance. A girl with Mosaic Turners could start puberty on her own. She could start having a cycle on her own. All of that can be so less affected that it affects everything else less. <laughs> so that's the base difference between Classic and Mosaic. And the biggest symptom difference is infertility because the rest can still happen. You can still get webbing of the neck. They're still gonna be on the shorter side generally, but again, it's a spectrum it's how severely they're affected. And with mosaic, you're gonna generally get a light case anyways. You're not typically gonna have a very severe case if they're mosaic, just because the chromosome is still there. Chromosomally, she is less affected. So that just spirals into everything else being less affected. And so you're not gonna get a severe case with mosaic, typically, from what I've seen. It does change things genetically. Um, and I think it also changes what a doctor is going to look at your case like. They're probably going to be more open to, okay, what is your case in that sense with Mosaic than they will with Classic. With Classic, they're going to feel like it's textbook and they know it. Mosaic is way more obviously blatantly a spectrum. And so there's much even more... <laughs> There's even more diversity and there's even more reason to look at the details. Um, and yeah, there's there's a lot less concern health-wise mosaic with mosaic than there is with classic. Just comes with not being like again, being the chromosome still being there but being damaged. There's less risk health-wise with that. But I, I think all the same health risks are still there. There's still that heightened risk of osteoporosis, of arthritis, of, of the heart problems, and everything like that can happen. So 
it really is almost just a difference in a more severe case than a less severe case. But it also is based off of developmentally they're less affected. And the biggest way Turner syndrome affects you is developmentally. Organs, organ systems not being able to develop correctly or losing their functioning too early or just things not being able to work properly because of that chromosomal damage. Um, so I hope that helped. I'm not sure what specifically would be interesting for you guys for me to cover as mosaic and classic and the similarities and differences between the two or what kind of details about both you would want to see. So if you have any specific questions about either mosaic turners or classic turners or the way they're alike and not alike, leave those in the comments below and maybe I can do a follow-up video and kind of answer those more specifically. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. I hope this answered your questions. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, click the screen and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!